We are continuous today about our uh, healing your right. That is your right. That belongs to you as a believer. If you have missed that, you need to see our program, our last program. But today we are continuous to looking on the ministry of Jesus in healing and to, to showcast some part that what he was doing and that was according to, to God's will. And, and, you know, healing was really a central part of the ministry of Jesus. And, and, and people react different on what, the healing ministry of Jesus. We know that someone was against it, but most people was really happy and they enjoy when, when they saw what's happened. And, you know, who is behind sickness? That's a good question, and you know, take that and you will hear the answer on that if you continue to look on the Today program. And my name is Tommy M. Josephson. We continue so, uh, after this. In Acts chapter 10 and verse 38. How God anointed Jesus from Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and power, and how he went around doing good and healing all who were under the power of the devil, because God was with him. Wow! Oh, you remember my question before the break? You know that who is behind all the sickness, who is behind all the diseases, who is behind all the virus, including the coronavirus <laughs> that everyone talking about today. You know, who is behind? There was some laboratory, there was maybe that, there was maybe a bat. No, 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 it's not a bat. <laughs> It's the devil. He is behind it. He is the one that sent out them. He is the, the father to all the sickness and all this disease and all this virus and whatever is, is turning around in our world and make people sick and take the life of people. You know that? Because Jesus says about the devil, he only come to steal and destroy and kill that's the only thing he knows and that's the only thing he will do so whatever he does that is to destroy our life so we cannot get, live in the wilderness uh, the, the good life and in the uh, have a well and, and feel good and, and um, move on from good to good to good all the time but we all time need to go between where it's bad time uh, but you know all the time when Jesus this says uh, Peter he says here about Jesus in Acts 10 38 he went around doing good and a part to doing good was healing he healed everyone that was under the power of the devil. So the devil, he doing the bad things. He don't, oh, and, they, and you say, I, I know that already, that is not a big revelation. No, that is not a big revelation. Most people know that. You don't need to believe to believe that. Most people still believe that it's the devil is behind all the evil things. But some people, they say, no, no, there must be, the scientists have found out it's this and this and this reason. And of course, they, they found out many things. And I, I believe that they will find so much things in the future that we will be surprised at how wonderful the creation of God really is. We know so many things and part of the creation that we have not understand yet. And, uh, and uh, the scientist is on the way to understand. Little there, a little here, a little there. And uh, they think that they know so much so they don't need God anymore. They, they are uh, 
doing a big mistake. Because they need God, it's God they have created. But he allows us to find it out and how it works. And because Jesus, he walked through uh, uh, the land. He was moving around, he teaching, he preaching the good news of the kingdom. And he healing every disease and sickness among the people. Can we read in Matthew 4, 23? You know, he walked around. He, he doing good. That's what Peter said. He doing good. And the good was he healing. He preaching about the kingdom. And, and in Mark chapter 3 and verse 8 to 10. When they heard all he was doing. Jesus was doing. Many people come to him from Judea, Jerusalem, Edomia and the region across the Jordan and around Tyre Ty and Sidon. Because of the crowd, he told his disciples to have a small boat ready for him, to keep the people from crowding him. For he had healed many, so that those with disease were pushing forward to touch him. You know, there was really, you know, people was running after him. He saw him all the good thing he doing. He was running after Jesus. And they have different type of diseases. He was pushing the people to coming to the front to meet Jesus. So he said to his disciples, help me out here. They get a small boat so I can sit on a little distance from the people so I get time to teach them, to learn them about the kingdom of God. So Jesus, he walked around and the, the healing was so central in his ministry. So, uh, and, and everything that he does, he told his disciples, you will make greater things than that I have done. You know, he says, you know, what you will see, what you will make. And we can see how it continues in, in, um, in act. We can see how it continues to the, to the apostles. We can see how it continues by the follower of the apostles uh, in, the, in the letters. That continues to follow to, to the healing and the ministry to touch people's life, to change people's life. So you, are you sitting there right now and you need a healing in your body? You need to stretch out in faith and say, Jesus, here I am touch my life and, and start to believe him to change that situation to throw out that disease that sickness the virus or the cancer from your life hallelujah let me i will pray for you right now and put your hand where you have a sickness put your hand wherever you have pain and if it's uh, uh, only uh, uh, psychical problems or whatever put your hands on your head uh, you know whatever it is and I will pray for you right now in the name of Jesus because I believe that he can touch you right now and wherever you are right now in the name of Jesus Christ I come to you now and I pray for your healing power healing power through the blood of Jesus right now a touching people with different disease with cancer with a virus whatever it is a pain in the body it will go right now in the name of Jesus Christ from Nazareth amen 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 God bless you and I love to hear your commentaries if God have touched your life write a commentary in the commentary field I look forward to hear what God have do in your life because I know that God do things in people's life so right now Write to me, let me know, and uh, 
start to subscribe so you don't miss the next coming program that we will continue to talk about healing and the power from God that will touch you and share and like with your friends and family. God bless you.